Mm-hmm. He's telling, here's a Malak telling um, Louis what he need to do, giving him instructions. He's about, he, he ascended up. And shall be his minister. And shall be his minister. This was before, this is the man Louis, the son of Jacob, not Louis, all of Louis. It's just the first, the, the father of Louis. And shall declare his mysteries to men. This was his job, family. His job coming down from Shamaim, his job is to declare his mysteries to men. Who's the Torah giver? Louis. Through Moshe. Louis. And shall proclaim concerning him that shall redeem Yasharal. And shall proclaim concerning him that shall redeem Yasharal. This is what's going to get Yasharal back on track. Louis, that's his job. His job, every time we go off, is Louis' job to get us back on track. You and Yehuda. And by you and Yehuda. Shall Yehuda appear among men. There it is. There. Yehuda. And by you and Yehuda. Shall Yehuda appear among men. There it is. There it is. And among you and Yehuda, Yehuda appear he appears among men. Where he is, there we want to be. He's going to appear unto men. And through this is how he appears unto men. Take away this. He will not appear unto men. Who has? Yehuda. Uh, saving Re every. Oh Read this again. Okay. And by you and Yehuda shall Yehuda appear among men. Saving every race of men. There it is. This is the next part. This is the part we don't understand. It ain't all about Yasharal. It's not all about Yasharal. It's about Louis. It's about Yehuda. It's about the Mount. It's about Yahuwah and his host. And then Yasharal. This is the order. And then all the race of man. So we supposed to tell everybody that you not of Yasharal. As we said. We might not be of Yasharal. Cut that out. We shouldn't even be doing that. You not of Yasharal. Who am I to say you are not of Yasharal? Saving every race of men. We're going to touch on this. We, the most high going to have us focus on this every race of men. Because we only hear Yasharal. Yasharal. It's all about Yasharal. It is about Yasharal getting the word to every nation. Every Every group of people. Something happened this morning. We're about to go into what happened. Because we don't know. Have we ever made known to the family what happened? Tell me, please. I don't remember. Did we ever make known what happened? Today no, we're about we to have, make known what happened. We never revealed this before. My goodness. It was, it's a time for it. There's a time for it. And now is the time. We're about to reveal what happened. Right, I'm waiting for more. It's so good. I'm waiting for more. All right. This is Reuben 6, 10 through 12. <clears throat> and draw you near to Louis in humbleness of heart. Draw near to who? Louis. Family, this is for every group, every nationality. Every nationality. Draw near to Louis in humbleness. That you may receive a baraka from his mouth. This is why we draw near to him. That we may receive a baraka from his mouth. The father has been, been allowing these verses to blow up in my ruach. How our forefathers prayed for us. Blow up in my ruach how the forefathers Sent Baraka to us. We see in Torah, Moshe praying for us, Barakking us. We see these mighty men praying for us, Barakking us. Praying a Baraka over us. The end generation. They're rooting and cheering for us. We did hear that in Christianity. But men that died, we never heard those. The men that lived and died, they prayed for us while they yet live. And their prayers are still activated. 
we may have to go into that uh, deep later on. Their prayers are still activated. It's like you got a cell phone and you have service and it's activated. It hasn't been shut off. You can still use it. And the Most High use their prayers, even though they've been dead or gone. Thousands of years. For he shall barak Yahshua and Yehuda. He shall barak Yahshua and Yehuda. Because him has Yehuda chosen to be king over all the nations. Yes, yeah, surely so he have to speak a Baraka over Yehuda and Yahshua king. Look at this. Yehuda, the king over all the nations. King of kings. This is your king of kings. I, we taught this, but we didn't show it. You've been hearing king on earth. The king of kings on earth. And then there's another king of kings. That's the He's the one. He is the one that all kings on earth under him. There are two, there are two kings of kings. You have to know the difference. I have to know the difference between these two king of kings. If not, we may, we may deceive ourselves. We may go off. The most high is the king of kings of all. And then the Yehuda kingship, he the king of kings on earth. Because you'll hear Yahushua say he the king of kings. <laughs> what, what kings he was king of when he, when he was on earth? King of kings on the earth. No other king is above those kings, are they? We see many kings. And bow down before his seed. For on our behalf it will die in wars visible. They probably add the invisible one. Mm -hmm. And will be among you an eternal king. Well, we went through this before. Remember how the most high how the most high had us explain this. Uh I'm gonna explain that in a minute. Notice, notice, we gotta go back to bowing down before his seed. 